Hi, I'm Jeff Bradshaw with Redneck Restorations. This old truck brought to you by ElderlyIron.com. Come up! I'll do a little shafting with Krusty. Well, I know it's nice to have a press and everything. Where you got the little fixture you stick over here so that you can just press it and it comes out and all that kind of stuff. But And I do have a press. But some of you may not know how to do these when you don't have a press. So, therefore, we shall do it presslessly. We ain't talking about Elvis, neither. So, while using the third hand technique without a third hand, set yourself a socket on there for that clip. Give it a pop. Grab your needle nose pliers. Roll up one side or the other, don't matter. And release. On the other side, do the same thing. Did that come out? Why? That clip was not fully seated. Elsewise, it wouldn't have popped out like that. Made our work easier. So then, at this point, there's several different schools of thought of what should be done. However, today's school of thought, we're going to learn you how to do it with a hammer. I give credit to Mr. Cunningham, my junior year of high school. He showed us this. You got to be good with a hammer. I'm not good with a hammer. You're going to hit that yoke right here. A lot of times, if you're not good with a hammer and you hit the drive shaft, you might be uh, doing a little more work than just replacing a U-joint at that point. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try to do this left-handed. I'm not good with a hammer right-handed, let alone left-handed. So you're going to hit that butt right there. And I really wish I had my earplugs in just then. So you're going to pop your cup up. Use your properly adjusted chin locks and remove. Then you're going to go the other way. You can cause yourself a myriad of problems doing it this way. Not the least of which is bending the yoke. You just can't get real aggressive with that, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that part's done. That was easy. Most of the time, it's not that easy. And then, if this is rusted in here, if you have a wheel cylinder home, take a wheel cylinder home and clean those up a little bit before you put it back together. I'm just going to use a wire brush. I'll be right back. So then, new U-joint. I will tell you now, do not trust the grease that comes in the U-joint. Get some of your own grease. Get a nice gabagoo. Hack it in there. Set it aside. Do the next one. Make sure you set your cross down in a clean place. So then there's the question of how many needle bearings do you think I picked up off the floor before I started packing these and not trusting the grease that's in them? That's not a question you have to answer. And it's not what I'm going to answer. So, expand your vice. Get you a cup in there. Set up so it won't fall out, but don't push it all the way in. Set your cross in there and seat it in the cup. And squeeze. Grab your 
Grab you another cup. Now before you squeeze, get set there. Move the cross halfway into the other cup. You start to squeeze this thing and it's cocked, you got problems. So now that your cross is trapped in between the two cups, and your needles can't fall out, you can use another cup, an old cup. I don't like to use an old cup because they like to get stuck. You're going to go down far enough to expose the groove for your ring, snap ring. Retainer. That's the worst tasting plastic bag I have ever tasted in my life. What are they putting on these things? When you pull your old clips out, you want to save them because you never know when somebody went to the parts store, got a U joint, found out it wasn't the right one, or all they needed was a clip, so they took the clip out of the bag, then they took the U joint back with a clip missing. Or two, or all of them. And they're done that. No, I didn't take them back. I bought the U joints and not had the clips because somebody took them out. And again, with the needly nose pliers, get one side in, roll the other one down, give it a tap, or a few. Now it's in place. Going to the other side, push until you meet up with resistance. The edge of this thing's mushroomed a bit. I push the socket right against the clip. And now you can see the clip is seated back in the groove, I think. Maybe not. Another squeeze, if you will. And one thing I neglected to mention was that there's uh, space for the grease jerk right there. And right there. Point it so it's facing the shaft rather than uh, if this is the transmission here or the differential here. It's a lot easier to get to these if they're facing the shaft. So, one down. Normally drive shafts are not painted. We are painting these. So I did all my prep work with the old U-joints in. And since I don't want to paint them and then scratch them all up putting the new U-joints in, I put the new U-joints in, and then I'll paint them. And also, since these aren't going to go back in for well, a few months, rather than wrap tape all the way around, which is going to interfere with the paint anyway. Just slide it through here. Like that. One down, two to go. But wait, there's more. Something else I forgot to mention. On the slip yoke. Make sure your U-joints are in phase. So, set it up so that U-joint cup is up. And make sure you put this one in the same position. There's a dent there. Is that the alignment mark? I still can't find an arrow. The arrows are either going to be in line with this or in line with this. That looks like it could possibly might maybe have an arrow right there. So that's the one I'm going to use with that dent. Except for that dent's not aligned, so... That can't be the dent. So now the two U-joints are in alignment. In phase. Now, two down, two to go. One down, two to go. This time around we'll just check and see if the clips are ready to come out. Yep. Yep. I 
eliminates a step. That was nice and clean. Sirk, where are you? Shaft. That ain't right, I'll tell you right now. I've lost me socky. You can always use the old cross too. I guess. I have saved the best for last. Not really because I dread these. These. Anyway, this is our shaft that goes from the tranny to the transfer case. And, as you may be able to tell, the U-joints are not in phase. So I imagine that vibrated just a bit. You couldn't tell at slow speed out in the woods. But anyway, I think what I will do, take it apart. Ooh, the black nasty grease. Graphite grease. I shall start by removing this yoke and U-joint from the slip yoke. If you don't have a pick, you're just going to have to try to use a pocket screwdriver. These are never fun. Like that. Now we let the games begin.
far as that one will go. We can knock the rest of the way. I've never been successful in getting one out this way. It sure looks like it's worth a try, but it's not. Needles, needles everywhere. Cleaning. Zerk, Ford the Chef. Cup. This is why you do that. Cap is cocked and the cup doesn't want to the cross doesn't want to go in. Tell which way. Seated. This is always the one I don't like. I used to really hate U joints. I don't quite hate them anymore. Not real fond of them. Don't like doing them, but here we are. That goes in there. me cross. First clip's always easy to get in. And you get that good solid sound. supposed to. Now, since I've got that gap there, it's been a whole lot easier. See how that one's pushed up now? Well, i got to get that a whack back. Oops. That 
one wants to pop out. Too hard to why. There we go. Lovely. Quite lovely indeed. I guess I have one more to do. That would be this one. So, our procedure again. I don't want to... Why do I think it grease all over me? Am I phased? Phasing. Why? It won't phase. How odd. So whoever built this shaft 60 years ago, when they welded it, did not phase it. I'm not phased. You knew that was coming, right? This is a good reason to not put your zerk in first, because when you put grease inside those cups and you put it together, if the zerk is in there, you're going to create hydraulic pressure, and you're not going to get them to push in, at least not without a whole bunch of force. I saw where that one went. I wonder if I'll find my socket. No. Which side did I just whack? Could have been this one. Get out. I don't want to come out. Cleaning. I forgot to mention it, these uh, grooves. You might want to clean those out before you put the new U joints in. Oftentimes your clips won't go in because you didn't clean the grooves out. I think I shall use an old cup of the smaller version because it's getting late, my back hurts, and I can't hang on to the shaft and pound that thing. So, put my caps back. This is the cap. There we go. And I have enough for the tape to stick to itself because it's certainly not going to stick to anything here. Okay. Tomorrow, we paint. Parts are warm, primer's warm. This is my 1922 Perfection oil stove. Got it at an estate sale. 20 bucks. And it works.
on to the next. Okay, we got some loose cups, so what I'm doing here is just doing a little bit of knurling. The cups want to slide out of here. Do not want your cups sliding around inside your yolk. I've got this nice uh, pointy chisel type tool. Just putting a little dents in it. That'll mushroom some metal up, cause it to interfere with the cup. Of course, when you put it back together, the cup's going to want to cock, depending on where you have those. So, you have to keep an eye on that. interference fit. So that completes our drive shafts. And once they dry, of course, we'll wrap them up, stick them on a shelf, wait for the installation. So until then, for Redneck Restorations, this old truck, I'm Jeff Bradshaw. What's that camera look like? Ah. You shouldn't do that to game. Get yourself a nice socket that fits in there just perfect. Oh! And drop it on the ground. Oh no, where'd it go? I didn't watch. I did it again. I think I forgot to turn that camera on. Which means that when I edit this, there's a lot you won't get to see. Cups. Now, there's no particular special way. Oops. Well, there is that in there. First clip's always easy to get in. What did I draw? Zerk. And that's a good reason to not put your Zerk in first. You got a bunch of grease in there, like I pack the grease in the bearings. And when you go to push these together, if you've had that zerk in there, you're going to create hydraulic, hydraulic, hydraulic pressure. And it's let's do that again. This is a good reason to not put your zerk in first. Oh, don't do that. <laughs>